Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I'm gonna to be sharing a keto friendly recipe with you guys that has been a household favorite ever since our journey to keto began. I have showed this in several videos, like what I eat in a day kind of videos that I do on my channel, but I have had numerous requests to make it its own recipe video so that it's easier to find. So I wanted to do that for you guys. This is my bacon cheeseburger in a bowl. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so because I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will have my name in the description box and also down here. Okay, this is the one you guys have been asking for. Let's go ahead and get started. It is super simple and absolutely amazing. Okay, this is one of the simplest, most delicious recipes that you are going to ever do on keto. And this is all it takes. So let me go over real quick what I have. I just have bacon. I pick up the Carolina Pride because in my area, it's the only one I can find that has no sugar added. This is from Aldi and it is the 100% grass fed ground beef. Do whichever beef is best for you. The kids have recently decided that shredded lettuce is their thing and you know, that's what I've been picking up. We used to use romaine lettuce, but they're loving this recently. So I just picked this up. This is just a block of cheddar cheese. It's actually mild cheddar. I pick it up at Aldi also and I go ahead and I slice it up into portion sizes. So each one of these is a one ounce portion. And then the condiments you're gonna need are pickles. Again, this one has no sugar. This is the mayonnaise we use, it's Duke's, and it does not have any of um, added sugar in it. So this is the one that I use, use what's best for you guys. I do pick up a sugar-free ketchup, and this is the G Hughes. And then just some mustard, yellow mustard. Mustard does not have sugar in it. So these are all the ingredients you're gonna need. I'm gonna go ahead and skip one step right here and tell you, go ahead and cook up your bacon. I'm not gonna show that step because we already have some pre-cooked that I'm going to use. But go ahead and crisp up your bacon and get it cooked and ready to add to your burger bowl. Quincy's outside having a fit. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up our ground beef. I like to use this. I just picked this up at Walmart in the kitchen utensil section. It was like maybe a couple of dollars and it has been a lifesaver when it comes to cooking meat. So I like to get mine into nice little crumbles. Go ahead and brown that up. While it's cooking, I do like to add like a hamburger seasoning. That way it has an extra, a little something extra to it. The one I pick up is the 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's and I just add a little extra to that while it's cooking and it gives it a little bit more of a burger flavor. You can use whichever one you want. You don't have to use uh, Trader Joe's. I know there's a ton of different ones out there but that one is just our favorite. So go ahead and brown the meat. Okay, so I practice lazy keto, which means I only try to keep track of my net carbs. So I don't know the macros for this dish. Again, there's gonna be very few carbs. You're gonna have a few in your lettuce, maybe one in your cheese, one in your pickles, and then you got your beef um, and your condiments. So let me show you how I put together the dressing, if you wanna say, that goes over top of this. And this is what I do while my beef is cooking. And again, I don't have measurements, but this is about a normal size bowl, like a cereal bowl. So this way, at least you'll be able to see. It just depends on how much um, liquid you want on your bacon cheeseburger in a bowl. We like a lot. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna start out with is my mayo. And so I'm gonna put several big spoonfuls of mayonnaise in this bowl. And this is gonna be enough to feed four. Okay, next I'm gonna be adding in some mustard. Your main condiment in this is going to be your mayonnaise. And then you can see about how much mustard I put in there. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is my sugar-free 
catch up. Okay, here's what we got going on so far. And as you can tell, more mayonnaise than anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and start to mix all this up. I do leave all my condiments out just in case it's not the taste or consistency I want. Okay, once I get that mixed up, we're gonna be adding in our secret ingredient. And this is my secret ingredient in a lot of my recipes, guys. <laughs> and it is dill pickle juice. So I have some right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some to it. And basically what this does is thin this out into more of like a dressing consistency, a salad dressing consistency. And it gives it that yummy, you know, burger taste. What's a burger without pickles, seriously? So go ahead and mix that up. You can add as much or as little as you want. And you can see that it's a lot thinner now. Sorry, like I said, I don't do measurements on this because some people aren't huge fans of mustard. Some aren't huge fans of ketchup. Some aren't huge fans of pickle juice. And this is definitely customizable. Okay, so my hamburger meat is done. And you can tell that I like it in small little chunks. If you like yours bigger, no problem. This is your burger bowl, not mine. Um, I do not drain the grease off. There'll be a little bit, not too much. So I just leave that on there and we will just scoop this out and put it on top of the bowl. So let me show you how we put this together. Okay, use whichever lettuce of choice you want. Again, my kids are obsessed with shredded, just regular lettuce at this point. We used to use the romaine lettuce, um, but lately they have been loving this, and so I wanna keep them as happy as possible. So this is what I've been doing. Fill up your bowl as much as you want with your lettuce. Then next, we're going to top it with our hamburger meat. Next, I'm gonna take a cube of my cheese. This is just, again, one ounce of mild cheddar cheese, and I'm going to shred that on top of this burger bowl. Go ahead and take one of your dill pickle spears, cut that up into small little chunks, and then just add it on the top. Next, you're just gonna crumble up a piece of your bacon or two and add that on top of your pickles and cheese. Okay, so at this point, we are done with putting our toppings on. You can add some chopped up tomato if you want to. My mom always does. You can add onion if you like. Um, I know when Nicole Burgess makes this, she says she adds in some avocado for some extra fats. But now all we're gonna do is drizzle some of the dressing on top. And that's it, it's super simple. It takes like 15 minutes. So if you need a quick keto dinner, there it is. This does well if you wanna take it in your lunch. Also, you don't have to warm it up. A lot of people fix this and they don't even warm it up. Again, remember to add whatever toppings you like to this, whatever fits into your keto macros. This is just our favorite way to eat it. Throughout this video, I did have other recipes that are linked up in the cards for you guys, so you can check those out. I'll have some linked at the end and also in the description box. I have started doing keto recipes on Fridays for you all. So make sure you check out some of my other videos and I will see you next time. I hope you have a great week. Bye.